Well, the Princeville Princes graduated a lot of big stars from last year's playoff team. What with a lot of big linemen back, the goals remain big in Princeville. We do have a bunch of seasoned uh, kids, especially on the defensive side of the ball, and, and our uh, strength of our team this year is going to be our linemen. I uh, got a bunch of carryover from last year. The Princes are confident with their big line. They can make another big push to make it back-to-back -back years in the playoffs. It means a lot to get back to the playoffs. We're striving to go farther than the first round so we can have something to prove. Well, I definitely think we can get way past the first round. We got uh, one of the biggest lines in the state coming in. We've got a lot of returning juniors this year, seniors. A lot of talent coming back this year. Well, it was a good year last year for us to get back in the playoffs, and we got a, a lot of juniors here that want to keep the tradition going and really uh, step up to the plate here as their senior year. The Princes have great numbers out for football. They've got great size and great hopes as the season kicks off one week from tonight. We had a bunch of different guys start off and on last year, so we, we do have a bunch of seasoned uh, kids, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And, and our uh, strength of our team this year is going to be our linemen. Uh, I got a bunch of carryover from last year. We did uh, lose Tim Heffler and lose Jeff Waters off the line, and then uh, Mikey Sheets at tight end. But uh, the core of the inside line, they're, they're still here and intact for us. Uh, a more physical style, or I know you were pretty darn physical last year. You know, we're, we're, we're going to be anywhere from uh, double tight wishbone to empty, so we're going to do it all. <laughs> What, what, just because of personnel, or just that's the way you like to coach? Or? You know, that, that's kind of what we got into last year, and, and the kids really enjoyed it, and, and it's, it's fun coaching. It's, it's a defensive coordinator's nightmare having to uh, a scheme against all those things. You, can you mention a couple of your skill players that, that we might be seeing on Friday? You know, uh, Logan Green started fullback for us. He's going to start again for us. Uh, Tristan Jenkins is taking over for Miss Jansen at quarterback, and uh, John Remmer is going to step in for Zach Harrison at the running back position. You've been pretty solid there, you think? Yeah, you know, I don't see us dropping off much. The kids are putting in a great off season and uh, look for great things from them.